Hey, that's a really cool picture. I know, right? I was just wondering how brain actually forms. If you want, I can explain it to you. It's a process called primary neuralation. Really? Can you do that? Yeah, come with me. Today we're going to learn about primary neuralation. In primary neuralation, neural plate cells proliferate, invaginate, and separate from the surface ectoderm to form the neural tube. This occurs in the anterior embryo and forms the brain. There are four steps in primary neuralation. The first is extension and folding, bending, conversion, and lastly, closure. In extension and folding, cells of the neural plate, shown in blue, thicken to form the neural fold. The neural plate then drops its position at the medial hinge point. And this is shown in red. The medial hinge point then attaches to the notochord. Shown in the light green, and this produces a medial hinge point that drops its position as it is being attached to the notochord, forming a fold. In bending, cells at the medial hinge point anchored to the notochord drop their height even further. This height reduction forms a deep neural groove and raises the presumptive neural crest, shown in yellow. In convergence, two dorsolateral hinge points, shown in purple, form below the presumptive neural crust. The, the two dorsal lateral hinge points create two neural folds that move towards each other. The dorsal lateral hinge points become wedge-shaped and the epidermal cells push towards the center. In closure, the neural tube closes at the neural fold. The surface ectoderm then forms the surface epidermis, a single layer on top of the neural tube, shown in green, and the neural crest cells, shown in yellow, migrate outwards and form different cells of the body. And the closed neural tube is shown in blue. I get it now. That's how brain forms. Oh my gosh, this is the primary new relation. Who knew that developmental biology can be so interesting?